My brothers of Yunami Lodge Number One of the Order of the Arrow, I am so glad to greet you this Christmas season and to wish you outstanding success in the new year soon to dawn on us. Now, as I talk with you, I suppose you picture me as an old, old man. Well, there may be some truth in that, but right off, let me assure you what fun there is in being an old man if you've been an arrow man. As a matter of fact, you don't feel like an old man at all. I told our last national conference that since I was just 24 years old when we started our order, I preferred to give my present age nowadays as 24 and still holding. Last year I painted a picture of Treasure Island, which now hangs on the wall of my Florida home. It is that view of the island taken from the Devil's Tea Table on the New Jersey shore. That's where I spent a wonderful night in August 1915 when my staff at Treasure Island pulled a fast one on me and sent me on the very first vigil of the Order of the Arrow. Well, I found it to be a wonderful experience as I trust it has been for the hosts of our men who since then have kept the vigil. It was an ideal place. I could look down on the camp and dream about its future. I could think about the future of those young men also who during that first summer had joined the order. And then I could think of my own future and how best I could serve my country and its youth. And now 57 years of that future have come to pass. What memories I have of them. I can remember how Carol Edson, my associate camp director, and I talked over the new order. How I searched through the south woods of the island with Harry Yoder assistant scoutmaster of Troop 3 until we found a choice spot for the ceremonial grounds. How the scouts in camp that first Friday night filed through the woods hand on shoulder of the man in front, stooped under the fallen tree and found themselves in that newly made ceremonial spot. I remember our first simple homemade ceremonies to illustrate brotherhood and cheerfulness in service. How we gathered together on the first crop of Alman in existence later in the fall and organized the Unami Lodge. And now my brother, those 50 years have whisked by. Four wars have come to pass in that time. Ten different presidents of the United States have held office. The radio and television have been born. Science has produced undreamed of other inventions like the commuter. And we discovered we could leave Mother Earth and walk on the moon. And through all those years, upwards of a million arrowmen have made their contribution of cheerful service, falling into step with those pioneer arrowmen of Yonami in the summer of 1915. Well, my brothers, I think of that wonderful host of arrowmen during those 57 years and what they have contributed. Of course, I'm proud of the spectacular service of some of them, like Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon, and Jim Lovell, who made two trips there. 
But I'm also thinking of those hundreds of thousands of our men who continued to make their contribution to the cause of brotherhood among men and who by their cheerful service set an example to their fellow citizens in making this a better world. And now you, my brothers, today's arrow man must plan your lives as you reach manhood so that in the next half century you too can leave your mark on your country and your world. May God guide you always and may the grand old Mother Lodge have the best year yet in 1973.